Okay guys, what's going on? Welcome to a very, very, very short episode. Uh, this is basically how to install your underscores theme. Now for those of you who don't know what underscores is, I'm about to show you. Basically it's a uh, dummy theme, uh, like one of these, but it provides all the building blocks and all the stepping stones to allow you to do what I'm about to show you. So if we go on to underscores and wait for it to load, you get this very nice star theme for WordPress. That's pretty much what it is. So it's made by, well, no, what? No, it's not all of these, is it? Sure, there's loads of them. Okay. Probably is. Look at this, with one contribute. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it works pretty well. So basically, you put your theme name in, so I'm going to call it Blocks. Blocks to Bootstrap. No, that doesn't make sense. Blocks to WordPress. There we go. And click Generate. And you get a download link straight away, and it's da already downloaded just like that. And you get this blocks to WordPress file. Again, I recommend you drop it to your desktop. We're going to open it. And yeah, Praise Kit provides all the building blocks that you need uh, to to like uh, to provide your WordPress template. So in this folder, if you scroll right to the bottom, you see you notice thing called screenshot.png. If you go and get info, you because you'll see the size of it as well 1200 by 900. So, what you want to do is roughly upload an image called screenshot.png of that size. Luckily for me, I have one in here, uh, and I'll show you what this does to it later. So, if I go on to if I go on to this and then open up this and drop it behind and then name it screenshot.png, and that'll ask you. You want to use PNG and then simply drag it into that location, it doesn't really matter, I'm just going to clean up the neatness. And then what you want to do is install this template. So, what you want to do is go into your WordPress files here. Well, actually, I'll reopen it again, I'll minimize this so move manpower out of the way. Open up WordPress, and you see you get this really complicated looking uh, list of files. Just don't just go on WordPress content themes and simply drag blocks to WordPress into there, done, that simple. And then if you head into your WordPress themes, which are just here, give this, if you, so you'll end up on the dashboard, go on appearance, wait for that to load, and bang, just go on appearance and it'll, themes are the default menu to first load. And there you have it, my screenshot that I loaded in uh, is right there, blocks to WordPress, there's the title of it, just click activate, there won't be anything on it, so if you go on to blocks, visit site, there won't be anything on it apart from all this jibber jabber and nonsense uh, because that's the skeleton that it gives you pretty much. But it, at least you know your template's installed, anything you change to this folder will, auto will automatically get a change to it pretty much. So it's a very, very short episode just showing you underscores. Uh, very, very good. Uh, uh, basically, building blocks. I use it in all of my builds. Uh, I've got a few advanced options now. I'm not sure exactly what these do. You can put the author description but you can change this anyway uh yeah it's pretty cool and uh, pretty simple website pretty good website as well and uh we'll, in the next episode we're gonna get on to making your word your wordpress header converting your blocks header section to make it uh compatible with wordpress and bye bye